It is often said that when you lose a sense, the rest get more finely attuned. Now I don't know if that's true, but I guess it can be assumed. I wouldn't claim to be a superman, or in any way more complete. But what I will say is simply this. I've got a real strong taste for meat. I've had this thing for flesh for as long as I've remembered. Such harmony as a once proud beast is captured and dismembered. Oh, from the thrill of the chase in every taste of an animal in its prime to the tenderness of the cut itself as I add in the enzyme. I've tasted it all well. All but one, and that's when I'll have my zoo. I've finished off the a la carte, so now it's my own menu. And yet, of course, I'm not the first with this all-you-can-eat philosophy. Much credit must go to Reverend Buckland for inspiring my zoophagy. He claims he ate through the whole food chain, finding it more addictive than morphine. Some even say that he ate the heart of a king, namely that of Louis XIV. So I guess you could say that this is one celebrity diet that isn't royalty free. But the old reverend's dead, so if he's forlorn, then frankly he can bite me. Now, I know I shouldn't be disparaging about the father and his assertions, but something doesn't quite add up when insects come in a million versions. So I set myself the more modest task of eating the best from every genus. Alas, I've saved to last the one that they'll all believe most heinous. But it's something I need to do to complete the very last class on phylum. They'll never understand, of course, and I'll be sent to the asylum. I'll get labelled as a crazy man and they'll throw away the key. But I've lived a life worth many through my passion. That's zoophagy. Well, the deed is done. Well done indeed, and I've satisfied my vice. I guarantee you will not find a meal like that anywhere, at any price. Now what have we here, in the bad news Bible that is the local rag? Could it be that I know today's number one public criminal to slag? A local blind man is missing. He's missing and presumed dead. Find the villain who did this. There's a warrant for his head. They suspect I'm the devil who did this, and for that I should take the onus. They've just figured out my sick pantomime, and now they want praise for their slowness. So yes, it is true I pursued my victim like the game hunter with a bird. And yes, it's true that I threatened him and whispered, Don't say a word. But it's false to think that it is wrong. And no, it's not because I'm deaf. The greatest sin in all of this is that I'm not a respected chef. I'm a chef of the highest order. Yes, the most adventurous of an era. Look at how he enjoys himself. It could hardly be much clearer. And that's why I've come to a conclusion about the point I made initially. I think that I can taste good. And well, my blind friend did officially. 
So whether you think I'm reverend myself or whether you think I'm insane, I couldn't care a whole lot less. Because I'll never hear you complain.